ever since Lads Carno was in the break, I was like, I just want to see these numbers. And now we get to see them. So the race, Classica Han, he won it, got in the early break and just held everyone off. Uh, so yeah, 409 normalized for close to four hours. Crazy. I've seen stuff like this before. Dwarz Dorf Lahren, he had a really, really good result. Came third, I think it was. And yeah, he was in the early break again, like 400 watts for normalized for like four hours. So anyway, let's have a look. So uh, early on before coverage started, you can see he got in the break and it was hard like the whole day. I think he's a big boy. I think he's over 80 would be my assumption because he does some crazy stuff. But anyway, you can see here, like not crazy numbers to begin with, like 400 normalized for uh, on this kind of rolling part. Some of the climbs a little bit more. Again, obviously, there's the gravel sectors as well, which is something to watch out for. Uh, but here you can see like 420 watts. Not crazy, not crazy, but but decent. Then this long sort of 20-minute drag, 4%, 470 normalized, 22 minutes at 450. Again, very, very strong. Then it's always interesting on the downhill, still pedaling quite a lot. Like, okay, that's like zone two for him, but still it's like, you can see the heart rate still quite high, like 160. Like, that's his average for the day. Obviously, hits a peak of 195. This bit is actually where it is a bit more relaxed in the break. And then they go up another real, uh, I think it's the same the same climb again. Uh, and again, 424 watts. So pretty substantial uh, on both these climbs. Not crazy, uh, crazy difficult. He then actually gets away with uh, Prudhomme as well. And they kind of ride mainly solo, uh, mainly together for the last part. Obviously, he then drops him. But you can see, like, again, 416 normalized for this last hour and a half section. This is where a lot of the, the gravel stuff was. Obviously, it wasn't as much gravel as expected due to the rain. Uh, so not, not maybe as hard as it could have been. But again, like, solid numbers. Two and a half minutes, 590 watts. You can see here, this is where he almost hits, hits his peak heart rate uh, for the day. Uh, and yeah, more like I think on some of these technical roads, it's kind of hard. You can see here, he's like obviously still doing 400 normalized, but he's not going very quick because it's really up and down. And the descents, I think, are, are pretty technical as well. But coming towards the end, this is actually, I believe, where he drops Tronchon. Uh, sorry, not Tronchon, uh, Prudhomme here. So 480 watts. You can see it's like pretty, pretty strong numbers. This bit here, he was on his own 575 watts, 9%, 21k an hour. He is really surging at this point. And that's really where he made the big difference. You can see like peak heart, in terms of heart rate, like you could, as soon as they got onto this sector, uh, it was the gravel sector, just just the last one. Uh, and Prudhomme attacked early doors and then Tronchon, uh, and then I can get confused. Tronchon was the guy behind and Lescano was following straight away. And then he attacked him over the top. And then that's basically how he went solo. As you can see, average 400 watts for the last 20 minutes, normalized 430 watts. So again, just crazy numbers, like whole day just on the gas. And I think he is going to be really, really useful as not just like in these races, but I think as like a Grand Tour domestique, he's like one of the best around, surely. Like there's not going to be that many people cracking out these numbers. You can see on this four minute drag up to the finish line, he's cracking out 440 watts, which is just like, it goes to show he's got such a good engine uh, here, like 400 watts. And he is big, but he's not like, Tim de Klerk, like huge bigness, like he is actually climbs well. He's climbed with Ayuso uh, in Puerto Ueda, uh, one of the Basque races last year, just before, just after the Tour de France, I think it was. So yeah, like he is strong. He also does like thirteen hundred watts. So he's not. I wouldn't say he's punchy. Definitely not punchy, but he's not like full useless uh, in terms of in terms of punch either. So yeah, really impressive ride from him. Four hundred normalized. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy to be honest uh to see this i don't think i've really seen a file more that impressive for some time uh and again it's just like two by 20 at like 450 430 and then this last part here again really really strong if we go into some of the peak normalized i'm sure these will be crazy an hour at 433 watts uh which is actually the beginning hour when they're really getting the breakaway and then just the last like three hours at 420 normalized average 375 watts like that's some big stuff so yeah there you go Las Carnes power file gone through. I uh, hope you found that interesting. 5,000 calories. Well, kilojoules. How many kilojoules are we cracking out? Oh, 4,903 hours, 46. That is a lot. So, yeah, super, super impressive by Las Carnes. And I reckon this is just the beginning of uh, of his his results. And also, I think he's going to be signed by a big team, a bigger team soon because he's so valuable uh, as a domestique.